the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. The console that single-handedly brought the video game industry back from the brink of extinction and is responsible for gaming to evolve into what we know it as today. Easily one of the most, if not the most important console of all time. Many franchises made their debut on this system and to this day are still prominent in some of the best titles available. But which game is the best of the best NES games? We've assembled 16 of the best representatives across several genres to compete in a tournament bracket for the title. Join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we argue to find out which game will prevail as the champion of Season 1 of Video Game Fight Club. On our first episode, one of the most iconic video games in existence takes on its successor. It's Super Mario Bros. vs. Super Mario Bros. 3 on Video Game Fight Club. All right, so for our first episode, guys, we are talking about Mario Brothers 3 mm -hmm. versus Mario Brothers 1. Yeah, the granddaddy So versus the icon. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, let's start off. I have a list of uh, things that we can go over. Uh, I forgot to hit my timer, so I'm going to hit my timer. My timer. Um, so we can do our general review stuff like, you know, the audio, the visual, the gameplay mechanics, uh, the story, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I have some other stuff on here that might kind of spice up the conversation a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I think the, the easiest comparison here is that they're both Super Mario Brothers games yeah. and they're both side-scrolling platformer games. And I'd be willing to say that these are two of the best of the best. I mean, Mario 1 is the granddaddy mm -hmm. of the side-scrolling platformer game, the, the left to right get to the end, you jump on the flagpole, you drop it down, you get your scores, the fireworks go off because you're good at the game. Da, 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 da. Yeah, dude. That's all, and that's another thing. The, just that jingle. Everyone knows that jingle. Bling, bling, Everyone knows bling. the music in that game. Yep. And I'd be willing to say that the Super Mario Brothers theme song is one of the most recognizable song, uh, video game songs of was, all time. Didn't they say it was one of the most recognizable songs of all Ever. time? Ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you go hum it in public. Nine times out of ten, everybody, everybody they're not. They're like, oh, yeah, smart. I'll tell you, everybody be like, oh, no, like, dude, people, people Mario. know the. Ba -da, Who's humming Mario? Ba -ba -ba -da -ba, or like the. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Music. And, 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 and they know that more than McDonald's. I'll, I'll say this point for there for three, right. three kind of borrow. They had their own level. Yeah, you're right. Change up, but they kind of still borrow. They didn't change it much. Do you feel like? Do you feel like it leaned a little bit too much on nostalgia with with the soundtrack, or do you think it did enough? Spicing up its own I compositions. It, I think it did enough. Dun, 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 I think it definitely did. it's it's the same song, but it's it, it, anyways. It's 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 just a better upresed version of. It. I don't know. I the audio. Uh, can we can we have a very can I, can I say this one hundred percent? The visuals in Mario Brothers Three. Oh, yeah, well, that's, just, that's kinda, we can just. It's, it's just better. better it's just better in every way definitely. possible. Technology is there. I think definitely. that's an objective thing. That's. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't really. It's really. It's hard to really argue because I mean, it's yeah. It's totally, it's, I mean, look, it the, came out of the different the different stages of the Nintendo's life. Mario Brothers life One. Stage. Mario Brothers One was a launch title. I mean, it was. It, was, it had to. It had to show what the NES was capable of. Right. And I think it did a great job, but like it also kind of showed the limitations of the NES by like the fact that the bushes and, and the clouds are the same sprite just colored yeah, differently. Just, yeah, just different spots. Um, yeah. Or just the, the way, the, how basic and primal mm -hmm. the Mario sprite looks oh, like. I like primal. Versus, or, or Bowser, really. Yeah. Bowser is yeah, extremely, Bowser. he changed yeah. dramatically between the two. Yeah, jeez, yeah, Steve, is that how you feel about it? That's how I feel about it. I'm just uh, kidding. But, um, no Bowser fans. No, no Bowser fans. I love Bowser. No, I, 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 I love Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser's Inside Story, anyone? That's a great game. It is. We doing a DS versus? I don't know if I can. Go I hope. Well, I hope we would get to it, but we'll see. <laughs> Lord, I, uh, I have to. That deep between. You I two. think. I think mechanic. Can we both agree? Or can we all three of us agree? Mechanically, three. The is worst better. part about these games are the water levels. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Easily, yeah. easily, but Mario won. Yeah. I think Mario 1 has, I think the water level is the worst part of the game because it slows down the pace yep. and it just throws you for a loop because like what you liked was the side scrolling, the left to right, but then it slows you down like 200%, almost 300%. I remember, I remember. And then it gives you a level of verticality. Yeah, I remember as a kid liking that, that change of pace. It was frustrating as a kid, especially having to dodge the bloopers and everything. Oh yeah. There's another iconic sound. But like, it did change up the just hold the, hold the right on the D-pad and go, but it, 
but I agree. It's it's definitely. Okay. But you it's know, definitely. I don't know. Some of the mushroom. But you know, some of the mushroom world suck. But you know yeah. what else? Yeah. About, you know, with that, that, that mushroom, as, that one brick sprite. Yeah. Fudge that sprite. As bad as the water <laughs> levels were, again, it still got that iconic soundtrack. Every yeah. single yeah, song from that game is yeah. iconic. But I, mean, I think I think Jacob was talking about. Um, Earlier power ups. Yeah, the power ups. We were talking about the fire flower and the mushroom, but Mario Three has it's elaborated. It has the, the mushroom. Wazoo. It has the fire flower. It has the tanuki the suit. Frog suit. It has the frog suit, and the frog suit makes those water levels pretty bearable. But yeah. if you if you don't have the frog suit, if you get hit out of that frog suit, you're back to that sluggish pace under the water. And then there's castle levels. You could glide. You there's castle it. levels in Mario Three that have that have water mm-hmm. in them. Yeah, and they, they, they almost like. Require you to have that frog suit, or you're gonna be struggling. The first whole time. appearance of airships, airships, the Koopa Kids, yeah, different boss fights, mm-hmm. the mini boss and the, the uh, boss, little Mario castle. Three, dude, the uh, the different the, the, the warp whistle, whistle. yeah, the warp. I was gonna say, or how about whistle. the fact we didn't we talked about the overworld, yeah, you the can fact that you choose can, your own path a little bit, you can pick your levels, like it, technologically, it was just it was just great. It's not it? linear like yeah. Mario One. Mm-hmm. Mario One just you beat the level, you go to the next one. Mario Three, there's a little bit of player agency. It was like I don't want to go to level three, I kind of want to go to level four. There's right. a, there's a mushroom house on the other side of level four I want to get to. Right. And so I'm going to go to that one. So it gave you a little strategy. But you know what made it even more strategic was the multiplayer. Yep. Yeah. Because both of these games have multiplayer, but I, I think, again, I think Mario 3 does multiplayer better because it has like a little taste of cooperative gameplay. It's, it's, yeah, tag team. You go, I go, you go. Yeah, go. so like yeah. if I beat level two and the mushroom house is after level two, or after level three, Jacob might be like, "I'm gonna wait for level. I'm gonna go do level four because yeah. I want Brandon to do level so, three. Yeah, exactly. I want him to do the castle. So that way, because Jacob wants to go do the gambling mini game. Yeah, because Jacob likes to gamble. He has a problem. Yes. Please contribute to our show. Toad looks talk, chunky talk in that to in that sprite. Go back in your mind's oh, eye in the house. Yeah. yeah. Boom, boom, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. He and he's so fit. petite. He's petite in two. He was T H I C C. Man, I don't know what he was doing. He let himself go. I hate Toad. Hi. Toad, it took it took almost to the GameCube era for me to start liking Toad. I like Toad in the e- SNES I'll, Mario Kart. I like him average. I liked him in the Mario, Mario parties. Dude, he just totally like <laughs> he totally gives you the uh, for censorship censorship uh, uh, reasons. He gives you the cold shoulder. Whenever you go to rescue the princess, oh yeah, like, oh sorry, to <laughs> her castle. Is that you like that yeah, toad? That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wrote me a letter. Yeah, I don't yeah you called me. You think you could have told me? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it, ha- it happens like seven times. <laughs> I promise, this is the last time. Why does he sound like the gingerbread man from Shrek? <laughs> he does. <laughs> is that the same person? It is the same person. Who's playing, the who's playing Toad buttons? in the movie? I forgot who's playing Toad in the movie. Oh, in the upcoming movie? Yeah. Uh, Keegan, Keegan, Michael Keegan, Keegan Michael Key, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that looks like Toad. I think Toad from Mario Brothers movie with the Jumbas in it looks like Toad. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the harmonica. Even our friend Toad has become Goombas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Uh, but I think mechanically, yeah, you, you can't, 3 you feels can't better. Argue. The story, story, I mean, it's... It's Mario. They're both kind of whatever... I mean, the princess got kidnapped. You gotta go save yeah. her from Bowser. Absolute compelling story. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna, one hundred, you wanna put a silver lining to the story. They haven't changed I, that I, formula very much. The years, it's pretty much been have, the same story. They just added more in between. It's that captivating. I have an important question. Uh, which title do you think is more revolutionary? Ooh, revolutionary. I think mm-hmm. one is in that regard. You think you think one is, Steve? What you, what I think th- I'm gonna go with one as well because one kind of you know one is just that it, it created Nintendo's mascot. It, it, I think it did. Yeah. It got so popular. Well, that, actually, like, Nintendo, uh, Donkey Kong. Oh actually, Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it popularized. <laughs> I'm gonna write it. Yeah, I know you're. I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. Well, actually, Mario, Mario Bros. Arcade King does the first appearance. Right <laughs> no, but I, but like I, I don't mean like it created Mario. Obviously, Mario yeah. was in other games before that, but it like put Mario on the map. All right, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I think, I think, I think, I think you're both right. I think Mar- Mario won. Exactly, is Mario went from from level one crew me- member to level ninety nine mafia boss. Yeah, yeah. I think Mario three is a really good game. It had a really epic moment with the fact that it was revealed. Oh yeah, in the wizard. That's pretty dope. The, the wizard with with Lucas Barton saying the power glove's so bad. I mean, dude, Lucas Barton is so cool. 
I'm a rat no more. He, he's got. <laughs> I'm um, pretty sure he's in jail. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, no, I remember he was so cool. I always wanted a little case, little case like he had yeah. when he opened it and it had the power glove in it. Yeah. I, I think that's an important part of Mario Brothers Three. Uh, its DNA Four. is yeah. the wizard. They go all the way to the video game Armageddon contest, and One he's like, say. "Super Mario Brothers Three, Super Mario Brothers Three! And then it opens up, na 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 Dude, that had to have been so mind-blowing for the kids back in the day. To see yes, Mario 3 for absolutely. the first time in this movie about video games, which was essentially... Yeah, you, you experienced that. What was it like back then? Did you watch The Wizard? I didn't. I, I don't know why. I don't know why it flew over my head. I, I, I knew about it in Game Pro. Your parents were probably like, this movie looks like crap. Probably. <laughs> we're not probably. Watch this movie. Yeah. I like Savage. I like. I love The Wonder Years, so mm-hmm. I knew who he was. Old Fred. Um, no, I want to go back to the story real quick. I just old I just, Fred. Old Fred. Old Fred Savage. Old Fred Savage. Uh, <laughs> I wish it was a podcast. We, yeah, we, we, yeah, we got to get. <laughs> we got to get controversial figures. We got Fred Savage. Fred Savage is controversial. Yeah, apparently he's got some accusations of his own. Oh. That just recently like in out. the like in the Boy Meets World episode when he's a teacher and he goes into that's exactly yeah <laughs> and he goes into Bango's room remember that that's exactly what um, yeah. no a story that's like, uh, it was yeah. recently revealed I, I say recently ish three is a play yeah 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 it is like the sta- the, the yeah, three yeah. is a play the yeah. third one the story to three is a oh, play oh yeah all I'm the so stuff sorry. is is bolted into the background yeah. you notice all the little yeah. the things have the little bolts and you can go behind them the yeah. curtain I mean the whole beginning is so story. Same yeah, I, I think I think you guys are right. I think I think Mario One's more but revolutionary yes. because the fact that it launched with the NES, yeah. it sold the NES, it set the groundwork for everything else to be successful. It planted the flag. Uh, I think Mario One is the more revolutionary title. Yeah. Uh, I I think both these games. Uh, my next question: Which one stands the the test of time better? I think both. I think of they them. both do. My They're son can pick them up and well. play them, and he, that's how he's learning. I mean, video just games. just it's a couple of years ago, NES. just last year, I think it was, or the, about a year and a half ago. Uh, that Mario game on the Switch, like the Elimination Mario 99. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Why is that not still a thing, Nintendo? Why? Why did you take that away from me? I don't me? know. They had to lock it up in the vault. They're pulling a Disney. Yeah. Okay, but let it out. Don't just but, keep it in there. Nintendo like to throw stuff in their vault and be like, <laughs> but, <laughs> Y'all can't play it no more. Uh, but that's why I think that uh, Mario Mario One is uh, yeah. standing the test time. I think Mario Three, of course, stands the test of time. That's just a good game. I feel like you can put that game in front of me. You can if, if you if they took all right, here's a good question. If they took if there's two TVs in front of you right now, and one had Mario Three on NES and one had Mario One on NES, which one do you think you'd pick up first and start three. playing? Three, Steve. What do you think? You know, I, honestly, I'd probably say one. Probably yeah, one? You think one? You're, you're a fan of the classic? I am a fan of the classic. You think the classic? Okay. Uh, and which one do you think represents the console? I think we kind of already answered that question. Yeah, there's got to be one. one. I, I think one does represent it a little you know, bit better. Because like, I think whenever... I, I think it's... If I, went, if I went and talked to my grandmother, who's like 90-something years old, and I said, hey, Momo, who, <laughs> what game do you remember? Who, who's on the, the Nintendo? Yeah. She'd be like, oh, Mario Brothers. Yeah. And like I think if I showed her Mario Brothers one, she'd be like, I know that game. Mm-hmm. But if I showed her Mario Brothers three, three, she'd be probably less likely to recognize it. Sure. And she's probably one of the most far removed people from video games on, never, in, in this yeah. universe. I'll be honest, I never played Mario Mario three till I got Super Mario All Stars on the SNES. Wow, really? Yeah. So I played in parallel. I had them. I had them both. I could play. I played, uh, I played it later. But I played it on All Stars first. But my my NES also kind of crapped out on me, like. Not long after the I NES, started playing. The NES it. was a legacy console for me. Yeah. It was at it was at uh, Mama Lola's house. So I was playing it before y'all were born. Yeah, I, I, we we know. We know. Mm. So I think it's so time. So what was it like playing it on those? Uh, on you, those had, you had to uh, crank. There was a crank. Those you had to crank you had to wind TVs, up your power. I had a little black and white TV. Spin the power up. Like, Jacob, what was it like watching your first color TV after sitting through <laughs> black and white all your life? <laughs> black and white film. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time to vote. Let's vote. Let's do it. Steve. Let's do it. You know, I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think that both games are fantastic and they're really good. You know, I mean, you've got the icon in Mario, Super Mario, the original. And then you've got the legend in Mario 3. And you know, what it really just kind of boils down for me when it comes to my pick, it's really going to be which one stands out as the number one face for the Nintendo Entertainment System. 
you know, because they're neck and neck to me. But, you know, you got to go with the home team. You got to go with Super Mario Brothers 1. That's my pick. Mario Brothers 1. Okay. We have a vote for Mario Brothers. Jacob, what do you think? Uh, let's get some Let's get some tension built up. I'm going to say 3. I think... Let's get some tension built up. Says it immediately. Yeah, 3. <laughs> 3. Uh, no, like, like let's, 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 let's hash this out. Um, I think I, I, I can't... Disagree with Steve. Steve has a very good point. Like this, this is why I said let's drop the bomb off the bat of this bracket because yeah. this is the bomb uh, of this 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 whole series. I don't want to interrupt, but I'm gonna let you finish. Let you finish. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. Are you done? No, but I, th- I going into this, I thought it was gonna be an easy a shoe in. I thought it was gonna be a shoe in, but yeah. I, after we talked about it, no. I, I feel a little. I feel like this is a hard decision to make. We could we could film this 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 show like two years from now, and then this would not change. Like, but I think in I'm having to go back and put a little Jacob bias in there, and just remembering three. I don't remember the with through the wizard, but just remember picking it up. The box art, which is right here, the it's iconic. The, it's iconic. Yeah. It, it, it's I think in the conscious consciousness of gamers our age that were playing it back then. I think three is just the game that stands out to him as far. I don't. It can't. It can't compare to that icon that that was Super Mario One. But just when it comes to just being the, a better game in every way mm-hmm. than its than its than its originator. Man, you're gonna put the pressure on me. Yeah. Have fun. Uh, Here you go. I know, I, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Going forward, I'm okay with this. If I have to make the decision, I'll do what you game. <laughs> uh, I think that my decision is going to be. Super Mario Brothers 3. I think I just think it's a better game. I think it's better in every way possible and I think the 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 fact that we all agree that yeah. Mario Brothers 1 is just I definitely don't disagree with that. Oh yeah. It yeah. is just like it's it's like trying to compare uh, any other boxer to Muhammad Ali. Exactly. It's like it's like that was the standard like that was the standard, yeah. yeah. To base all of the best of the best off of, right? See, in in my eyes, you know, and, and I don't disagree with you. Like I do think that, you know, as far as quality is concerned, you know, Super Mario Brothers Three probably is the better the the better game. But I, you know, I, I don't want. I, I feel like it, for me personally, it's a little unfair for me to judge it like that because, in my opinion. With, with hindsight being 2020, it's so much easier for a company to go back and say, let's take this and make it better a lot of times. And so, like, I kind of don't want to focus most mostly on the on the quality of the game. I just want to focus on a lot of different aspects, including the quality, including the soundtrack, including what stands out, including the status as an icon. And so, to me, personally, you know, that's what gave Super Mario the edge to me. And it's just it's a slight edge. No, no, it's not, man. It's, a, it's not deep. that much of a difference. It's okay. You don't have to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> That's your winner, Mario Bros. 3. Mario Bros. 3. Did Super Mario Bros. 3 deserve to win? Tell us all about it in the comments below, and please, feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of Season 1. Thanks for watching.